Hello, today I want to talk to you about ways to show cause and effect relationships in sentences. My name is Dan Fitzgerald and let's get started. So first of all with cause and effect relationships let's use this example. When there's rain what do we do about our picnic? Probably we cancel it. So the cause is the rain. The effect, we cancel the picnic. Let's look at some ways we can show that cause and effect relationship. First of all, we could use a preposition. Because of. Because of is a preposition, and it's followed by an object. Due to is another preposition, which means the same thing. And as a result of is another preposition. Let's look at some example sentences. Because of the rain, we canceled the picnic. In this situation, because of is the preposition, and it's followed by a noun or the object. Because of the rain, and then in the sentence I have a subject and a verb. I can also put the preposition phrase at the end. We canceled the picnic because of the rain. Here's another sentence. Due to the rain, we canceled the picnic. In this situation, the rain is a noun, and it's the object of the preposition due to. As a result of the rain, we cancel the picnic. As a result of is the preposition. The rain is the object of the preposition, or the noun in the preposition. These three expressions, because of, due to, as a result of, show the relationship between the ideas. It shows that the rain is the cause and the result is the canceled picnic. Now we're going to look at some subordinators or subordinating conjunctions we can use to show a cause and effect relationship. First of all, there's because, and second of all, well, okay, because is when it's by itself, not with of, so when it's because, it's followed by a subject and verb, and then a main clause. Because it rained, we canceled the picnic. When this when because is at the beginning of a sentence, I need a comma after that part of the sentence. Since it rained, we canceled the picnic. In this case, since shows the cause and effect relationship. It's followed by a subject and verb. And then we have the main clause. We canceled the picnic. I can also put the subordinator at the end of the sentence, and in that situation, no comma is necessary. In the first sentence, we canceled the picnic because it rained, no comma. Because it rained, we canceled the picnic. In the second sentence, I need a comma. That's when I have because at the beginning of a sentence. Let's look at some transition signals that can show the cause and effect relationship between two sentences. We have therefore, consequently, and as a result. All three of these mean the same thing and they show the cause and effect relationship. It rained. Therefore, we canceled our picnic. Usually, the transition signal is at the beginning of the sentence. 
And it shows the relationship from one sentence to another sentence. It shows how they relate to each other. And this situation, therefore, shows this is the cause. It rained, and we canceled the picnic is the effect or the result. It rained. Consequently, we canceled the picnic. It rained. As a result, we canceled the picnic. We have a comma after the transition signal. The last way we can show cause and effect relationship is with a coordinating conjunction or a coordinator. The one we use is so. It rained, so we canceled the picnic. We use so to join two sentences. It rained is a complete idea. We canceled the picnic is a complete idea. And we combine those with so and a comma, which goes before the word so. Let's do some exercises to see how well we can uh, understand which words to use in which situations, showing cause and effect relationships. Remember, we talked about prepositions, which are followed by a noun or an object, because of, due to, as a result of. We had subordinators, and subordinators are followed by a subject and verb. And transition signals show the relationship between two sentences. I have the cause, and then the transition signal, and then a second sentence And last, we had coordinating conjunctions, which is where I have two sentences, and I make them into one sentence with a comma and so. I have three words to choose from, or expressions, because of, because, therefore, so. Let's see which one is correct in this situation. The situation, we can see the person is texting while driving, and we can see bad things are about to happen. So, text and drive would be the cause. Accident is going to be our result or effect. I have blank. I texted while driving. I got in an accident. In this situation, I can see a subject and a verb here and a comma. So in this situation, I want to use because. Ah, because. And that's because I have the subject and verb. And because is followed by a subject and verb. Same situation. What would we put here? I texted and drove, blank, comma, I got in an accident. In this situation, we see the period. So I have two sentences. And therefore will show us the relationship between ideas in two sentences. So therefore goes in the blank here. In this situation, I have, I texted and drove, which is a complete idea. I got in an accident, which is a complete idea. And I have a comma right here. We need so for this one. So is when I have two complete ideas, and I join them together with a comma plus so, the coordinating conjunction. I have four more expressions, due to, since, consequently, and so. If you see this person, do you give this person much respect? Probably no. So why does this person have no respect? And the answer is his clown nose. So the clown nose is going to be the cause, the result 
no respect. If I say blank the clown knows, he gets no respect. Here, before the comma, where it says the clown knows, there's not a subject verb combination. So in this situation, I need the preposition due to. Due to the clown knows, he gets no respect. He wears a clown nose, period, blank, comma. He gets no respect. In this situation, I see the period, so I have a complete sentence and a complete sentence, and I want to show the relationship between these two sentences. So in that situation, I'll use consequently. He wears a clown nose. Consequently, he gets no respect. Oh, this one I already did for you. I have a complete idea. He wears a clown nose. He gets no respect is another complete idea. And if those are as one sentence, I can join them with a comma plus so. The cause and then the result. I have a blank at the beginning here. He wears a clown nose, comma, he gets no respect. You can see a subject and verb and then a comma. In this situation, I need a subordinator. That's since. Since he wears a clown nose, he gets no respect. Well, today I talked about some ways to show cause and effect relationships. I, we looked at prepositions, subordinators, transition signals, and coordinating conjunctions. I hope this helps you to understand a little bit. I encourage you to please subscribe to my channel and feel free to share it with your friends who are also learning English. And if you'd like to contact me about private tutoring, uh, feel free to send me an email or to uh, leave a message through um, the YouTube messaging. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.